hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this beautiful twisted hairstyle using uh, yarn so with that said let's jump right into the video okay so right here i have the yarn layout so that way it can give you guys a good view of the type of yarn i'm going to be using so here it is. So moving on to the next step, I'm going to go ahead and prep it so that way you can get the whole hairstyle rolling. So I'm going to be starting with three balls of yarn to, um, I'm going to be rolling three balls of yarn at a time. So next right here, I'm going in with my measuring tape and going ahead to measure the length I want. So whatever length you measure, you want to double it so that way when you fold it over, you're going to have the exact measurement you want. So again, I'm going ahead to double check the measurement to make sure that I have the exact measurement after folding the, um, the yarn. So for this step, you can use a door handle if you want so for me i'm using a tripod so now that i have it roll out i'm going in with my scissors to cut it so i went ahead and did the rest of camera Okay, so moving on to the next step, I took out nine strands of yarn. Okay, so for the next step right here, I'm going ahead to divide the nine uh, strands into three. So the reason why I'm dividing it into three is because I'm going to be starting the base of the twist using uh, the knotless braid method. And after separating it into three, I went ahead and um, uh, adjust the yarn to make sure that I have an uneven length at the bottom because I want the end of the twist to be thin. If you don't want the thin finish at the end of the uh the twist you can leave it as it is but if you want that thin finish at the end of the twist you need to adjust the yarn so that way you have some long strands and some short strands so i'm going in with my hair cream and i'm going to be applying that all over the hair So next, I'm going in with a hair oil and I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to apply that on the roots of the hair, the body of the hair, and also the tip of the hair. Next, I'm going in with a hair comb and I'm going ahead to comb my hair through to make sure it's tangle free. So now that that is done, I'm going in with a hair gel. So right here, you can use a gel or edge control, edge tamer whichever one you have to uh, apply that on the root so that way you can tame all the little short hairs and flyaways in place so like i said i'm going to be using the not less uh, not less braid method so to do that i'm starting with my own hair making sure that i have a strong and firm hold on the root of the hair before going ahead to take the first piece of yarn so right here i went ahead and um, insert that between my index finger and my thumb and just going ahead to uh, braid the hair
So after adding the last piece of um, of uh, of yarn, I'm gonna stop braiding the hair and switch to twisting the hair. So right here, I'm going ahead to divide the yarn into a uh, even number on each side. So next, I'm going ahead to uh, twist the hair. Again, going back in with some more hair cream. Also, applying the hair cream as you twist the hair uh, help to give you a smooth process instead of just having a dry, dry hands. So yeah. So I'm gonna twist this all the way to the tip of the uh, to the tip, and next I'm gonna tie a knot to secure it in place. So as always, I do not like to burn the tip of my hair whenever I'm using uh, yarn. So I'm just gonna tie the knot and uh, to secure it in place, and next I'm going to be cutting the excess strands of the tip of the hair. If you want, you can burn the tip of the hair. For me personally, I don't like it. I don't like the look and I don't want to do it. So it's up to you. Go with whatever you feel comfortable. Whatever method you feel comfortable using, go ahead and do that. So I'm going ahead to repeat the same thing right here. Uh, starting with my own hair first before going ahead to add in the first piece of yarn. Again, doing the knotless method. So right here, I'm going in with a second piece. And I'm going ahead to insert that between my index finger and my thumb. So you can see right here. Next, going ahead to braid the hair. So doing the same thing, after adding the third piece of yarn, I'm going to be taking more of that hair cream and I'm going to be applying it to my hair. I don't want my hair to be dry, okay? So you will need a lot of hair cream. And I'm making sure that I'm generous with the cream. The purpose of me buying the hair cream is to use it on my hair. It's to show some love to my hair. And I'm doing that. <laughs> So as you can see right here, after adding the third piece, I'm going ahead to twist the hair. First, I started by distributing the, uh, the strands to make sure I have an even number on each side before going ahead to twist the hair. So when twisting, you want to make sure, okay, make sure not to take any strand from the other side. So you want to you want to make sure of that because it's it's a bit annoying when you accidentally take a strand from the other side from one side of the yarn right and it gets tangled so we don't want that and also when making your session you want to make sure that your next braid or your next twist falls in between the line or in between the space on the bottom to help give you that fuller looking hairstyle without using too much yarn or using too much hair.
So here is how the back is looking so far. Loving it. And this hairstyle is super duper lightweight. I'm telling you, it's so light. Help me hold this part down. I don't want it to fall. Okay? Just like this so that it doesn't twist. So right here, my husband is assisting me to hold down this very twist because I don't want to pull on my edges. I Because when twisting the hair, it, that actually twists the root of the hair and I didn't want that tension at the very front of my hair. Other way to make sure that you don't put too much tension on the very front of your hair is to um, twist the hair gently and slowly. So, and also you can clip that very uh, twist in place before going ahead to twist it. So you don't you don't want too much tension on the on your edges. So I took a little break because I was running late to a brunch reservation and I, I decided to just wrap my hair up into a bun as you can see right here. And after the brunch, uh, after we got back home, I was so full and too lazy to jump back into Femi. So I just like, okay, I'm just going to take this whole day off <laughs> and get back to rate the next day um that's exactly what i did so yeah so now back to the video so for this hairstyle i woke up super duper early to start this whole process thinking that i was gonna finish it before heading off to the brunch i keep forgetting the type of hair that i have my hair is super thick and to top it off, I decided to go with a small size uh, hairstyle, like seriously. But anyways, I think I'll say I do small for the front, then just package them up one kind, one kind. Nobody even notice. Nobody notice my hair never finished. The way I did pack them. <laughs> so moving on doing the same thing i started by applying the hair cream on my hair so next the um, oil so right now i'm going ahead to comb the hair to make sure it's tangle free before going ahead to apply the edge uh, control uh, edge what did i say edge control i'm not using edge control i'm using gel before going ahead to apply the gel so also doing the same thing i'm starting with my own natural hair first before going ahead to add in the yarn so I make sure to have a firm hold, a firm grip on the root of the hair before going ahead to uh, add the yarn. So like I said earlier, I use nine strands of yarn on each twist. And also I only use nine balls of yarn. I actually, I bought um 12 in total the deep red inside the pack were like 10 and i bought two extra which is the light red color but i didn't i did cut it but i didn't use the the light color because the one the uh, the deep red was actually more than enough and i only used nine not everything not the whole 10 i only used nine Okay, so almost done. So right here, I'm going ahead to oil my scalp and I'm gonna walk that in. So for the final step, I'm going in with the scissors to and just cut off the tip, just like that, and that's it. So I didn't uh, dip the hair in hot water this time because it's already like flexible. So, but if you want, you can go ahead and dip it in hot water 
the hair is already flexible it's super lightweight and i don't think there's any need for me to do that the tips are secured in place because so yeah and here is the back so this is the final result right here and i love it i love it perfect hairstyle lightweight yeah this is the uh, final result right here i love it love the length love the style love the color and i hope you do too if you find this video helpful please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please not forget to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that way whenever i post a new video you will get notified thank you all so much for watching thank you for subscribing and i'll see you all in my next video